Guys, today's the day. I'm ditching my crossfire. <laughs> and why do I ditch it? Let me tell you about this in the video you're about to see. And uh, what I switched to is clearly, clearly, it's Express LRS. You gotta say yes to Express LRS. Where do I begin? First of all, it was an exciting project. And I remember the day I just attended to the Discord server and said, hey guys, um, this Express LRS thing, what is it and who needs it? And um, I would be interested in and um, or, and told them the community what I wanted to do with Express LRS and um, what I'm doing now. And they told me though, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, why don't you try 2.4 gigahertz? And I said, well, guys, I'm trying fly Crossfire. This is H68 megahertz and the penetration is much better, you know. Um, how about Express LRS 433 for long range? And they said, yeah, it's doable. You have to do it yourself, though. There's no hardware and nobody maintains this. But in general, this would do. And I said, well, yeah, mm, that would be awesome. What do I need? And along the conversation with the guys there, and um, I must be had been... Uh, pain in the behind at that point. <laughs> Somebody said, well, yeah, fine. You don't need to do this. You don't need to buy this. You don't need to fly Express LS. Do what you like, but uh, okay, don't bother us. I said, well, okay. Anyways, um, I got into a nice conversation with a guy there and he told me, well, um, maybe you should try, you should try Express LS 2.4 gigahertz. And it was not imaginable for me that this could work out for my psyche, for my things, how I fly and how I do. But uh, in the end, I was curious and here I went. So I had a small talk with some guy in the States who were building the modules. At that point, uh, at that time, you couldn't buy any modules because there weren't any. So you had to do it yourself or rely upon some guys who would make it. So people found together and ordered stuff and began soldering and stuff. And I was lucky to find a guy who had uh, two modules and a transmitter ready. So um, these things um, were, uh, were the first things I purchased. And um, all of a sudden I had a transmitter and uh, two receivers. This is how it all started and, and how I came into this. And um, since then many things has happened. But uh, back to the main story, why did I change? Why did I change to Express LRS? I think I was curious about Express LRS in the first degree, of course, yes. And um, you begin to dig, dig into this topic and you dig deeper and deeper and sooner or later it gets you and you want to try it. That's why I purchased, I guess. <laughs> From now on this perspective, why would you like to change? from Crossfire to Express LRS 2.4 gigahertz. I don't know why you would like to do so. I did it because it makes totally sense for me. Back to 2.4 gigahertz, mm, you know, the good old free sky receivers, 2.4 gigahertz, you could get one, mm, you, could, you could throw the stone as a distance. Uh, to measure how far your head reception is. The great thing was L9R, that was fine. We got it up to about six kilometers, I guess, once, and I was happy with it. It was the days with the S800. But it's different. It's a total other world and total new league. It's new technology. And the LoRaWAN system is brilliant. And the guys did a good job making a really good software. Um, so one, thing for sure why I did this change is of curiosity that's a big point for me another point is of course it's a price thing you are bound if you're coming from Frostfire like me um, and Dragon Link uh, then you have the same problems all over again you're bound to one um, to one manufacturer of hardware and especially when you live outside the United States and you fly Dragonlink, then hard, it's hard to come by with hardware. You have to import it or get it from the United States to wherever you live. And it works eventually and uh, um, there's no, no trouble there. But um, if you need more, then sometimes you can't get it. That's not good. So changing over to Crossfire from there was uh, like, um, yeah, 
Mm, now you can get the hardware you need at the point you need from where you need because everybody is selling, selling TBS Crossfire. And that was a delight. And that was new technology because it was easy. It was not that flimsy. And it was, um, for me, pretty easy to get along with. It worked. It worked out of the box fine. No problems there. Um, a bit pricey, TBS of course, but uh, well, yeah, it works. So that's a price you pay for some, some things to work. Um, after having tried Express LRS in a AR Mini, and I remember the first time I, I, I flashed the modules and it was about uh, version 07 or something. 05 or 06 or 07, somewhere there around, um, I started flying that. And um, I took the plane for the test. I was uh, I was sure the plane, the wing was reliable, and I just sent it, and it went on, and it went on, and it went on, and still went on, and it still went on, and it went on, and I said, unbelievable! It's 2.4 gigahertz. It still goes uh, and goes and goes. And um, I remember I returned at a fair distance back home, and uh, was impressed. And if you get this impression of uh, the technology you've used is good, has worked out for you, then you get confidence. And the confidence was that big that I started to say, well, yeah, yeah, you want to fly Express LRS. You want to put it to a test, you want to find out. Um, so yeah, hardware, software worked out of the box. It was a bit more flimsy to flash compared to Crossfire. But in the end, um, the performance was astounding. Really, really good. Brilliant. Brilliant. Um, yeah, so yeah, the performance was good. And it is good. Um, so that um, confirmed my choice to go deeper into the Express LRS topic. Then there is this thing about open source. Open source can be wonderful and it can be painful because um, many open source projects come and many die but uh, some stay. And one of those who stays is of course um, this project we are talking about is Express LRS. The community is big and uh, I love what they do. I love the stuff they come up with and um, you get pretty decent updates on features, bug fixes and so on. There's a good community behind it and that's good. And I want to support it with what I can. That's by using it and spreading love. And uh, that's it. Another big point for Express LRS is the open hardware design. That means you can buy your hardware from God knows whom and it will work. It will work with Express LRS. So no matter if um, hardware manufacturer A dies or goes bankrupt or just disappears, you are not stuck on your stuff. No, it works. Just flash a new version on it. It's fine. It will work. So um, there's a bit of competition out there right now. I think <laughs> at least it looks like that. Um, um, there's the one with the most power, that the tiniest one, the smartest one, the flashiest one, and this with OLED, OLED and whatever there's on it. Um, aside of that, they have all one thing in common. They work. They work with Express LRS. So to take manufacturer A, use a, a module from manufacturer B, they will talk together because they match. And that's nice. So you're not hardware dependent on one manufacturer anymore. So um, yeah, that's cool. That gives confidence. You will always get your hardware from all over the, over the world. Besides, it's bloody cheap. Far too cheap for what it is. And it works really, really good for that price you pay. So yeah, price, availability, um, um, you can rely on it, yes. For my sake, I can say, yeah, I can rely on Express LRS. I had one failure and that uh, was uh, with the Ripper, where it suddenly turned into failsafe uh, in a very short distance besides me. And um, I didn't know what was the problem at that point, but I found out and I found out thanks to the community. Well, in fact, that was the only problem I had so far. There are so many voices and hate out there or, or, um, yeah, about Express LRS not being that reliable as anybody says. And um, well, yeah, I don't know which experience you had, you guys, but my experience is 
what you can see in my videos and apply it and apply it like I stole it. And I put it really, really put it to the test. Um, especially when you think, um, I started with a time where then uh, a cool guy came up with telemetry enhancements on Express LS. So you suddenly had the features you commonly used with Crossfire or are used to use with Crossfire because you got them in telemetry. And uh, that was a bit poor in the beginning, but now it's fine and uh, what is delivered is pretty good. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I uh, like the telemetry, I like the project, I like the price, I like the availability and the reliability. Did I mention more? Let's talk about the things that Express LRS isn't or can't be or won't be at the point now or what you perhaps could miss, shall we? Right. First of all, I don't want to point fingers to say this is better for you or that is better for you. You need to buy it. Look in my description, buy my stuff. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just honest telling you well, how I experienced that. And my experience was just um, good so far. So far and so good even that I began to sell all my stuff from TBS. Sorry, Rafa. We had a nice time, but um, things move on. Okay, what don't we have or what do we miss in Express LRS? If you're flying a quad, then you probably won't miss that much things because um, you have all the channels, you have all the features, you can switch all your switches and you're good to go. It gets more tricky when you fly wings because wings have a different approach with um, features, features like um, OSD features, you don't need that in the flying a quad. Um, features like flight modes, usually you fly in your quad in angle mode or such, or maybe return to home, so yeah. But you got a whole bunch of features on a wing you want to use. And um, well, there you go. Um, there's a whole bunch of people out there among you who is flying with MathLink. MathLink is in autopilot and um, MathLink isn't supported. You need to know that. Isn't supported and I don't think that it will come so easy. It will come by time perhaps, but someday soon, I don't think. I don't think it will be that soon. So maybe this is something you will have to know. So MathLink isn't there. If you have ground station or you fly with ground station, this won't work for you. Sorry. Another thing that often is mentioned is that um, the switches and sliders don't have this granularity saying you have perhaps three steps or two steps or maybe six steps. And yes, that was true. That's not true anymore with version 2.0 of ExpressOS, where you have granularity about 64 positions or even 128 positions with this switch mode wide from hybrid. When you switch from hybrid mode to wide mode, then you get this fine granularity. And with that, everything is possible. So yeah, I got that switched on and yeah, you will see in this video how fine it is. I've just um, put it on the slider from uh, my Radio Master and you can see how the slider goes smooth forth and back, depending on where I put the slider. So pan and tilt, no issue anymore, you can do it. Um, can we get this out of the way forever, for good? Thanks. <sighs> Such a relief. Okay, what do we have more? Um, do we have more? How about you tell me what you are missing? I don't know, I'm not missing anything. And that's the reason why I keep going with Express LRS. So um, only from my experience, I will keep going with Express LRS 2.4 gigahertz because it feels good. I don't treat tremendous transmission power to get my wing in the air or my stuff flying. So that's a good point too, I think. Um, when I remember Crossfire sometimes firing up to 500 milliwatt transmission power or even one watts if I didn't limit it, because of course I had forgot to limit it. Um, then it's astounding to see how less you need, how less transmission power you need um, like the Harrier we'll see in a video in a moment. So yeah, um, 100 milliwatts is often more than enough. And that's a big step 
compared to when Crossfire fires up to do its job, even though it fires on a lower frequency, which has wider range. Well, mm, that's the reason why, yeah, I guess. Would I recommend it? I don't know. I don't want to recommend it. You will have to find out yourself. You can see from and tell from my videos that it seems to work apparently. And um, I'm flying cheap stuff, really. I'm flying the heavy model ones um, and uh, do-it-yourself stuff. Well, works, works for me. Really low budget if you want, like, want it like that. Yeah, so I can recommend you can try, but I won't say it's for you. You have to figure your own. So if you can live with the fact that uh, the system gets pretty much updates all the time, is blazing fast, doesn't uh, need so much transmission power, mm, the hardware is cheaper than you perhaps used to have, mm, it works in 2.4 gigahertz and doesn't um, use so much uh, transmission power, mm, everybody can change on it because it's the best system you can perhaps build on your own. You'll have a great community with support in case you need it. And you can, of course, live with the fact that you don't have so much telemetry or math link fall from back like you had on previous systems like Crossfire, like you name it. Mm, yeah, well, then it's worth a try. Um, will I keep going? Yes, please, I will. I will only and only fly Express LS. Yes, yes, definitely. Um, I guess that's um, what I have to tell about it. I can't really tell you something negative. Um, I didn't have any receiver that just went down the drain. I don't end up with hardware that doesn't work currently. Um, I heard stories about it, but I can't prove it myself because the worst thing that happened for me was um, that I had one, one time I flashed something and it went wrong with a do-it-yourself receiver and I had to put it into bootloader modus mode uh, with, uh, and flash it via FTDI. That was the worst experience I had, sorry, nothing else. So no, nothing bad to tell, nothing. Mm -mm. Even Yahoo Maps works with it. <laughs> <laughs> well, enough of this. I guess I've told enough and um, perhaps gave you an idea of why I switched to Express LRS from Crossfire from whatever and um, why I don't regret it and I keep going. So why don't we just have a look at how I just changed from Crossfire to Express LRS on the S1100 Harrier from Reptile, shall we? Okay.